Welcome to East Coast Oak Reviews. Today, we're reviewing another beer. This is Raspberry Pineapple Lemon Coconut Ice Cream Dream Hydra. So this is from Burley Oak Brewing Company out of Berlin, Maryland. Sour Ale or Raspberry Pineapple Lemon Coconut Ice Cream Lactose. 5.6% alcohol by volume. This is a uh, collaboration with Mortalis Brewing Company. So it does have their logo on the side as well. Uh, canned on date. I actually can't really read it. it got smudged out. Um, but I did give one of these to uh, Thomas Metal 75, also known as Massachusetts Beer Reviews, not too long ago. Um, I have had this before, but I did save a can for review. And I've, uh, I've had this can in my mini fridge, pretty cold, stored upside down. So it should be fine. But uh, yeah, let's uh, let's get into it. So I'm um, gonna actually give this a little roll. Put the roll on the table. We'll turn. Yeah, the uh, ice cream in this just sounds phenomenal. So let's crack it open. Kind of got on my finger there. All right. Let's pour this up. Nice and thick. Kind of looks like that, uh, I just want to be PRA. Beer I just uh, reviewed not too long ago, the Branch of Blade. Banana daiquiri one. Definitely very similar looking in color. Kind of your uh, milky, pinkish brown color. Got this uh, head that's starting to cascade. It's kind of forming that, oh yeah. It's forming that heavily fruited sour head. So look at that, lots of sediment in there. Super hazy, no clarity through it at all. Um, lots of chunks and floaties. It's already creating a nice puree lacing around the glass. It's got this uh, building creamy, frothy looking head on top. And uh, yeah, this beer looks very weird, but it looks good from what I've had from uh, pureed beers. But I haven't had this in a while. I believe I gave them that, like I said, it was a few months back. Um, so I've been uh, holding on to this can to do a review. But uh, yeah, let's check out the aroma on this one. So. Raspberry coconut come through pretty prominent. Yeah, I get I get like a nice raspberry coconut creamy vanilla. A little bit of pineapple. I don't get much of the lemon or pineapple. Like I said, it's, it's more raspberry coconut. I think the pineapple and lemon are a little bit hidden in the background. It smells nice and sweet. There's a little bit of a uh, acidic tart aroma, but for the most part, it smells very um, sweet and creamy. But it, this beer smells really good. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna dive into this. So cheers, guys. Beer is so good. I do really like this beer. Now I remember. It's got a little bit of an, a, a tart, acidic aftertaste. I wouldn't say it's sour to the point where it's lip puckering sour. You're also left with like a, there's a gnat flying around bothering me. Um, there's also a nice sweetness from like uh, vanilla ice cream, so you get like a nice ice cream finish. I'd say raspberry lemon combination on the finish gives a nice, gives that nice, nice tart aftertaste. Pineapple up front, 
and coconut in between. And like I said, raspberry and lemon are on the finish. This beer is really, really good. I do like this. I believe if this was kind of expensive though. I think this was like eight bucks for the single can. Um, so I did buy it once and then I ended up grabbing another single can to review. Um, and I also bought a single can for Eric. It's actually a decent combination. Definitely on the lighter side of medium. Full bodied, rich and creamy in flavor. Um, the flavor is definitely natural tasting. It's not like this candied flavor. This is a A1 heavily fruited sour for me, top notch. Um, that ice cream note is just like really what rounds out this beer, makes me really enjoy it. Rating. I'm gonna give it a, I'm gonna give it a 98. It's really, besides the price, so maybe knock a couple points for the price, availability, because I don't know if I can find these anymore. I think they're kind of gone. I did see some other dreams, but I'm, I'm sure the availability of this is gonna be a little bit harder to find. So yeah, like I said, a uh, point for price, a point off for price, a point off for availability. 98 out of 100. Definitely recommend this all day. If you guys like these heavily fruited sours, if you like the, um, if you like the Drekkers, maybe uh, even like the, I guess you would say like the Chunk or the um, Slang Du Jours, because those are a little bit more on the dessert pastry side of the uh, heavily fruited sours. I think you would really like this one as well. It might be overly sweet for some people, but I really like the sweetness. I'm a big fan of the sweetness. I would say this is more along the lines of your sweeter, heavily fruited sour rather than sour. Um, Cause I've had some heavily fruited sours that were actually sour. Not like just kind of tart like this one. But uh, yeah, 98 out of 100, gonna recommend it all day. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. There you have it. Um, if you guys wanna follow me on Instagram, uh, it's down in the description link. Uh, it's, the link is down in the description down below. And also, if you'd like to uh, donate to the channel, it definitely be greatly appreciated. You don't have to, uh, but it'll help support the channel and help me pay for products like this to do reviews on. And uh, yeah, if there's anything else that you guys like to see on my channel, leave a comment down below. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more upcoming videos. Like a beer. Thanks for watching, guys. Cheers.